Hello, and welcome to today's Monday Live, where you've got me, Stephanie, founder of the HD Advocate, together with Eleni Spiridis. Good morning Eleni. from New York. Yes, so today we're going to be talking about ADHD in kids and teens and the importance of helping them at the early stage possible, really, in terms of helping them understand their ADHD and themselves, why it's so important. So, Eleni, what's been your experience, would you say, coaching kids and teens? How do, how do they benefit, would you say, from that? Um, tremendously. And I would say that the most beneficial thing we can do for our kids and for ourselves, really, is to seek a diagnosis um, as early as you might suspect your child needs some additional support. So getting an accurate diagnosis from a medical professional with expertise in ADHD is, is absolutely the first step, um, because we also know that a lot of conditions can coexist with ADHD, whether it's autism, dyslexia, um, other conditions that it's really important to, um, to understand. So I feel like once you've got that piece um, sort of um, being managed, um, the importance then kind of shifts to us, the parents, especially for our younger kids. And that's where we offer our parent education course, which in four modules, we can really give you a good deal of insight as to what it is that you're seeing and how you can support your child. Um, as they get older, coaching can absolutely be an invaluable part of your child's support, uh, but it, um, it can't replace the sort of the routines and the mindset that you can establish when you do get that early intervention. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not easy. If you don't kind of understand what you're dealing with, obviously, then you can't name it to tame it, which is what we always uh, suggest that we do uh, with ADHD. And uh, it's not easy. Usually in a, a parent, if you've got a kid with ADHD, you will probably have it. Uh, you may not know it, but you'll find things a lot more difficult to, to stay on, you know, keep on track with things, to follow through on consequences or that type of thing, which makes it even more difficult, I would say, for a child with ADHD in particular that needs that kind of consistency, certainty, um, you know, knowing that it can stay out of its own way. Um, it's really important and that's not easy to do on your own, which is where the parent education course is very helpful for equipping you with the knowledge and the tools that you'll need to, to yeah. help your child. And especially at home, um, certainly in the UK, the um, implementation of an EHCP and here in the United States, um, an IEP are going to help provide that structure in school. But oftentimes when um, the kids come home, um, you know, the, the train can go off the rails. And that is really where we as parents um, need to understand what works and what can work for ourselves, our child, and, and also our families, because um, certainly the support that our kids need um, kind of reverberates. So we want to make sure that we are setting them up to be um, successful um, at home as well. Yeah. Um, and remembering that uh, all behavior is a form of communication. I think I remember reading that for the first time and that just massively struck a chord in yeah. that they, they usually there's always an unmet need there somewhere. And as a parent with ADHD, particularly when it's not diagnosed or treated, we tend to react not respond, which is not helpful for our child with ADHD, who at that time definitely need us to hold the space and to be able to kind of get perspective and help the child get perspective too. Yeah. Um, maybe not straight away, because sometimes when the child's in the, the throes of that a panic attack or some kind of meltdown, um, the best thing we can do is to literally try and hold that space, keep them safe and try and talk them kind of down um, off the ledge, so to speak but just know so that they can kind of feel safe. And then once they feel safe, then having the tools, having that knowledge, using the lens as you speak to them to be able to help them feel more confident enough to communicate exactly what's going on for them. So once you know what the need is, then you can help them. You can use the body double strategy and, and help set them up. And that's uh, very much in our parent education course. We talk all about that, don't we, Eleni? And how we do. do. And also you raised a very important um, distinction, reacting versus responding. Mm -hmm. So in that moment when any parent's instinct is to react one way, um, just pausing and sort of giving ourselves a moment to kind of think about um, the situation and what is ultimately gonna serve our kids um, the best, um, which is usually different from how we respond. Um, the reaction can be just sort of in the moment, but the response certainly um, is where we like to give you that space to think about how it is that you can actually um, do so in a way that is going to uh, benefit, uh, benefit you as well as your child. So yes, in the parent education course, um, Certainly 
geared toward parents. Um, and we also support you know, kids and teens as they um, come through adolescence and all face uh, different uh, challenges of a different nature, often around studying and where time management and executive functioning skills can come into play. So we see those, uh, those uh, skills that need support as kids get older. Yeah, and we're excited. We've got our academic success program um, that's launching in September for kids that are doing GCSEs and A-levels and any equivalent type courses that will help equip them again with the, the right lens by which to look at themselves and the ways that they study and learn and kind of holding space for them to get things done. They've been putting off in an environment with other ADHDs that will help motivate them to, to kind of go the course, so to speak. So we'll also provide details of that to um, definitely register your interest for September. But otherwise, we hope you have a good week. Yes, and yes thank you for will, joining. Yeah, we'll see you next Monday. Bye. Bye.